Right, Matthew, after a sparkling win with Jubilee Line on Wednesday, we move to the weekend. Race number four, first leg of the pick six. Horse number 10 is Sultry with JP van der Merwe. Yeah, she ran an okay race first time out. She's a filly that's going to be looking for a lot more ground, and um, this distance will be more up her alley. Uh, she's a nice... Nice filly, she's a half-sister to, I think she's a half-sister to Scott Snog, so she's going to mature with time and she's travelling up from Durban, so we're expecting a decent run. I think the same might be the case with King Mambo's legacy who's been down there. I get the feeling that he might be just a trifle bit better on the grass. Yeah, I think he is. He's a, he's a quality individual. I think this is the right distance for him. Him and Chup Tarillo are also coming up this week. Um, you know, they've both... Both been down in Durban, so they'll have nice-looking coats and be in good form. Chip Tarillo won his last start. He's a, he's a nice horse. Um, just got starting still issues. Um, if he behaves on the day, I don't see why he can't back that up. And then a horse that's come from a stable of a very powerful man called Sheikh Hamdan. He's now with a man who's got even more money in uh, Justin from Mark. Yeah, was, I think it's a good buy. Um, unfortunately, his last run wasn't that great, but um, we'll put that behind us. He is a nice horse. You can't ride him off. And um, stepping up to the 14.50 this time, I think it's going to be up his alley and we're expecting a good run. His penultimate start was phenomenal. Where he came from absolutely stone motherless last, cut the field a half. A lot of things went his way, but the wide draw last time just seemed to be very much against him. Yeah, he does kind of need things to go his way. Um, he's a nice horse when... When he wants to run, he's, he's definitely above his merit rating, in my opinion. Gov starting off in the first of the afternoon. Horse number eight is Miss Turbo, a daughter of Visionaire out of a Jet Master Mare, Jet Park. Yeah, um, she's a, a, a very feisty filly, Andy. She can run. Um, you know, she, she's shown us quite a lot of uh, good work at home. She'll go there with the lead pony and she's going to misbehave, I'm sure. But um, don't ignore her, she's a nice filly. A horse that seems to have gained a lot of confidence of late in race five is horse number four, Shepherd's Warning for two very special owners. Yeah, David and Tian. And uh, he was actually the very first horse we ever bought uh, together. And he's been a, a little soldier, you know. But uh, he, he had very indifferent form for a while and we said, Let's chuck him out for three months. And since he came back, I mean, he's just been like a different horse. He won really well last time, I thought, at the Vile. And uh, look, he, you never know quite what you're going to get, Andy, but he's well and his work's, you know, up to scratch. So I anticipate another good run. Lovely. Then on to race number six, where horse number one is a horse where ability is not in question. It's just that he has his latent defects. It's a case of whether he comes through the, the challenge OK. Yeah, look, he, he'll need a, a run back, I think. He generally takes one run back. But um, I'm trying to get him ready for the November handicap, uh, well, amongst other things. But, uh, you know, he, he bled before in a race, which obviously is a huge problem. So uh, we're doing all we can to uh, deal with that. And uh, Touchwood, I mean, he's going very well. And I'd like to just see a good run out of him.